Do you want to learn how to stream like this? Do you want to learn how to put this webcam right here? Do you want to learn how to get rid of the input lag when you move the controller? Yo, what is going on? This is your boy. I don't even have to say it because I'm that popular. <laughs> You might as well subscribe to the channel, help the gang out. But anyways, I'm not here to promote myself, alright? I'm here to actually teach you how to stream and Mac at PC with the PS4, alright? Hopefully I get a cool camera angle there. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that. It's fairly simple, it's not even that hard. I just learned how to do it two days ago. Literally, I'm not even joking, it's not hard, it's super, super easy. But before I get started, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, also hit the share button so you can help me get more views, and also hit the notification bell around here so when you update it to the latest videos, but yeah, let's just jump to the computer screen. All right, what you're gonna need for this video is a simple USB cable. If you don't know what's a USB cable, it's the cable that connects to the controller. And you wanna make sure you connect the end of the cable to your computer or Mac, all right? So you wanna make sure you do that. And it's plugged in. All right, so once you connected your controller to your Mac or PC, all you have to do is you wanna try the description down below and then leave a link that takes you to a PS4 remote play. Okay, so again, this is updated 2018. But anyways, if you're on PC, click this. If you're on Mac, click this. So I'm in Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and just click this right here and it should be downloading here like any computer, right? So anyways, you just wanna open up the thing and it should open up like this, all right? So once you're here, all you have to do is you wanna hit continue and then you wanna hit continue and you wanna hit agree and then you wanna hit install, all right? And then after that, it should be installed into your computer you won't go ahead and just type in your password all right so hit install software so anyways it should be looking like this just normal nothing too complicated the installation is successful so you're going to just close this right here and if this asks you right here you want to click keep all right so you want to click that and then you want to go to your uh file manager so for the mac is finder i forgot what's the name the pc even though i had windows before but just want to go to your little file manager thingy for mac you want to go to applications all right but in pc it should be in the little download section this right here that's what you're looking for you want to just double click this right here and then it should be right here all right so once you're here it should be like a, a settings uh thing button right here for pc but for mac you have to go right here you want to hit ps4 remote play and you want to hit preference all right so here where you can change the quality of your video some of you might have 720 and some of you might have 1080 so i have 1080 you want to hit okay to confirm it and the frame rate uh if you want it just standard like the quality of the video if you want it high you can go ahead and just do that and just don't play around with this there's really nothing much here but anyways you won't go just sign into your playstation thing and you should be signed in right there if it doesn't sign you in automatically you have to type in your email and your username so you want to make sure you know that you want to hit the exit button all right so here's when the controller comes in all right so all you have to do to connect the thing all you have to do is you want to hit the option button on your controller all right so you want to hit the option button there you go searching for ps4 and now it's searching for the ps4 and then there you go you can see here i have the ps4 screen right here with no problem and believe it or not i'm actually upstairs and the playstation is downstairs so so it's pretty cool for mac users there is a huge input lag right if you don't know what's input lag it's when you move the controller stick like let's say for example down it would take two seconds to go down so if you're interested in how to fix that really quick i just teach you that in the end but not right now so once you have this connected all you have to do is you want to simply hit that right there just memorize it and then you want to go ahead just check the second link in the description and it should be obs studio again if you're windows click windows if you're a mac click mac do so you want to just download it do so you want to just open it up but anyways it should look exactly like this once you opened it up again all you have to do is you want to hit continue and then continue and then install all right so again if it asks you for a password go ahead and just enter that completely normal and there you go it should be installing as normal and there you go it's finished it didn't even take a second but anyways you want to hit close and then you want to click keep you will find it in your file manager for again you want to look for this logo right here it says obs you want to go ahead and just open this up and it should look exactly like this let's start off a new thing you want to hit this thing right here you want to name it whatever so so touch so i name it touch for tutorial you want to hit okay you want to hit the plus icon right here right so i'll be teaching you how to put the webcam too if you're interested in that but anyways you want to click this add and you want to click window capture all right so you want to click this right here and you want to name it whatever you want so i'm just going to type in game you want to hit okay all you have to do is you want to click on this right here and then you want to look for remote play all right so you want to look for that all right or right, if the remote play does not want to pop up like me i couldn't find it all you have to do is you want to open this up like that again just move it around and then go back to this and it should be right there you want to click on this and you see the screen right there all right so for mac this thing right here is super annoying, but anyways, you want to hit OK. So you want to move this up right here until that little white bar is gone for the webcam. You want to hit the plus again, 
and you want to click video capture device all right so you want to click this right here i don't know name it whatever you want webcam and you want to hit okay and then you want to click device and then you want to click facetime hd camera whatever camera you have connected to your beautiful thing all right so i'm just going to use the normal camera that comes with the mac you know what you want to click preset i recommend these two all right so i always use this one because it's just small and it's just easy to look at or you can click the big one of course it's just all personal preference and then you want to click ok alright so then you can go you can go ahead just move this around there you go you have your webcam set up and to start the stream all you have to do is you want to hit settings and then you want to hit stream you can go just choose the service you want to stream to alright for example I want to do YouTube so I'm gonna click on this right here you need a stream key alright so I'll be teaching you how to do that really quick open up a new tab go to your YouTube and go to your channel alright so I'm just gonna do that alright so once you're in your channel you want to click creator studio if this is not here you simply you want to click your name right here so you can access it here too so you want to click creator studio but anyways you want to go ahead and just click live streaming all right so once you click this it should take you to the live streaming section so you want to click events all right so you want to look for this events you can start a new live event so you want to click this and then i want to make this private because i don't want to stream right now so you want you can name it whatever you want you want to click create event all right and then it should take you here to change the thumbnail you want to hit browse it should take you to your file manager thingy so you can choose the picture here's where you can get the single stream key so you want to click this right here so once you click your single stream key so you want to go and just copy this right here right so copy you want to go back to obs which is this right here so here's where we were at previously you want to go and just paste that in there all right so you want to paste that in there you want to click ok and then once you've done that you want to click start stream and then you want to go back to the thing click this right here here's where you can click the play button to start your stream so there you go so once you click that you should be awarded stream all right so how to fix the input lag so this is how bad the input lag is see look when I move it to the right you see how bad the reaction time to that is all right so I'm gonna be teaching you how to fix that this mostly goes for Mac users I haven't heard any PC users have this problem but if you're having this problem you can do the same thing all right but yeah anyways how to fix it all right so what you need to do is you need to go to the thingy that we just opened up remember in the tutorial what you have to do is exit out of it all right so you want to exit out of it and then we're good to go all right so now you want to go ahead and just reopen it so there you go I'm gonna reopen that all right and then you should be back here all right so once you're here it's pretty simple all right so you do not press the start or press the option button all right so what you need to do is go to the settings like i said in pc this should be a settings button right here but if, if you're not in pc you want to go to the little ps4 remote play click that and go to preferences whatever you signed in as your account you want to choose a different account to sign out and then you want to sign in back again but this time do not sign in with your main account sign into a different account i'm pretty sure you have a second account in that ps4 if you don't make one all right but anyways you want to go ahead and sign into a different completely account okay so i'm not going to use my main account so i'm going to use my second account which i'm going to type in my info with the email and password so once you sign into the thing, as you can see here, I'm signed into a whole different account, all right? So as long as it's not your main account, you're good, all right? So anyways, you can go just hit the exit button and then hit the option thing. Make sure it's still connected. Step two is have a second controller, okay? You have to have a second controller if you don't. But anyways, just let it connect and we, I'll be right back. All right, so once you connected the thing, just leave that controller alone. And that's gonna be the controller that allows you to see the stream, all right? So anyways, you wanna grab that second controller that I told you about, which is this one. And you wanna go ahead and just turn it on, all right? So this is the reason why you have to make the second account, all right? So as you can see here, this controller is logged into this account. So do not log in with that account, log in with this one, okay? So you're gonna have to do this every time you stream if you don't want the input lag. So it's pretty easy if you get used to it. I already got used to it. But anyways, second controller, go to the main account which is this so this is my main account with my logo and now it should ask you to press the home button so you want to press this right here press the home button and then it should take you to your main account instead of using this one all right so as you can see here and now you can go actually play fortnite and stream your best gameplays there as you can see there i can go and open it up see there's no cord here with this one i always play with the cord and i always had the input lag but guys if this video helped you out please show that but leave one a like subscribe right here hit the share button so you can help me get more views also hit the notification bell right here so you're notified of my latest videos okay if you want more videos like this leave it down in the comments i'm doing the giveaways ending soon end of this month but anyways i'll see you guys next time bye i'm in peace like always